Hi everyone, it's Leona with Leona's Designs, Papers with a Purpose, and today is day 20 of the 100 day project. And today I'm going to be working on tags and journal cards for this little zine that I'm creating for Liz at the Paper Project Giveaway Challenge. I'm hoping to get this finished and send this off to her, but before I do, I have to make some journal cards and um, tags for it. So uh, I didn't tell you yesterday when I created the video on how to make the zine, the size of them is two and three quarters by four and a fourth. So they're nice little booklets that you can send in a card, in happy mail, or give us gifts. So I wanted to create my tags and journal cards out of these clothing tags that I've been saving for a long time. Every time I get clothing or buy clothing for gifts, I save the tags. Some of these tags are off of uh, packaging. I've got just so many in here that I need to start using them. They're little price tags, and all kinds, sizes, shapes. So that's what I'm planning to do today. I'm going to use some of those and decorate them to use in that little zine. And I've got some planned out here for it. These are going to be journal cards. This one's going to be <clears throat> a, a tag because it's already shaped like a tag. Was it even got the hole in the top? And then this is another one I'm going to use for a tag got the little rivet at the top already. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this. I think I'm going to cover it with this paper. Oh, I always also have this little tag I, I was going to use too. But anyway, I thought I'd let you see me create these and kind of get an idea what you can do with your clothing tags or your price tags that you save. It's pretty easy. I mean, this one, I think, was a, some kind of packaging. And I just glued brown paper to the back and some book page to the front. And then I found this picture in a magazine that I cut out and I glued to some brown paper, put some lace there, and I'm hoping to glue this little phrase on, just be you, and turn that into a journaling card for the zine. <clears throat> so that's what I'm gonna do with this one. Already got a little start on it. kind of get an idea of what I was going to do before I started the video so it wouldn't take too long. I hope everybody's having a good day. I have had a good creative day. I love making these little zines. I think they're very, very useful for a lot of things, to put in journals, to give as gifts, to put in cards. I actually have to create a get well card for someone and I'm going to try to make a, a little encouraging zine to put in with the get well card. If you make them out of uh, printer paper, they're easier to send in the mail because they're not so thick and bulky. And with the price 
a full stitch knot is. That's what we have to think about, unfortunately. I'm going to distress this a little bit. <coughs> zine that I'm creating for the challenge. I'm making it look vintagey. Most of the images I have in it are from this magazine called, these magazines called Victoria, and they have a lot of really romantic vintagey photos in them. I was fortunate to get gifted a few of those magazines. Okay, well, I think I'll do the back too. I'm not sure if I'm going to round the corners on this or not. But there's that one. I think that'll look nice. Now this one, uh, apparently it was on some kind of merchandise I bought, probably for somebody at Christmas. It looks like it was some kind of a game tech card. And so I'm going to glue book page to the back of it, to the front of it, I mean. Just to cover up most of that writing. actually a couple of images that I put together I cut out of the magazine. So I'm going to glue that on the front. And I'm just using a glue stick. Ooh, that a little more. It's coming apart here. And then I have this little saying, believe in you. <clears throat> and I'm going to glue on there. <clears throat> I got these sayings uh, from... Treasure Books, Natasha at Treasure Books. Not sure if it was a free giveaway or if I got them from her Etsy. But I, I really liked them. It might have been a free giveaway, so you might want to check out Natasha at Treasure Books. If you haven't subscribed to her channel, you really should. She is very creative and has lots of great videos. I will put her link in the description box below. As well as I will put Liz from The Paper Project. I'm going to have to cover the back too. But this is the front. I think it's cute. And I will get some kind of paper to put on the back. Uh, 
simply this piece of brown paper. <clears throat> see if it fits in the zine okay if it fits in the zine I'm going to leave it like this otherwise I might have to trim it amazes me what you can create with a little magazine image, a few words, some book page, and some scraps of scrapbook paper. Very cute. Now this one is going to be a tag, so I'm going to have to cover the back. This was off of a Christmas ornament, and I'm going to leave the front with that green color. I'm going to cover the back with some kind of paper and choose what, what kind of paper I want. Some of this white paper, I think. I think that will look good. Good way to use up scraps. Good way to use up your price tags. Keep them out of the trash. I do, <clears throat> I do that so much anymore and I hardly ever throw anything away. It's like, oops. Sometimes I think I save too much. I don't have enough time to work on everything like I want to. covered. Just trim the side a little bit. And glue this on. This is a magazine image. And there's a bouquet of some kind of flowers, I think probably pansies. <clears throat> Put that right on over the writing.
phrase that says admire beauty. Little zine has a lot of encouraging words in it. Okay, now I just need to punch out that hole. I didn't get it exactly in the center. There we go. Now, <clears throat> I need to add a little ribbon or something. Go add this piece of lace. look nice. So one more tag to go and I will be ready to fill my sign and zine. I keep wanting to call it a zine. It's a zine and get it in the mail. I'm going to think about what I want to do with, I don't know if I'm going to do this one, but I'm going to think about what I'm going to do with this one. And uh, I'm going to end this video now because I think you've seen enough to know exactly what, what we can do with our price tags and product tags and clothing tags. They can become very, very nice little oh, I was going to try to get it closer so you could see better. But it's not working. <clears throat> so, anyway. Become very nice little tags and journal cards for our journals or our zines. I hope you were inspired by watching. Thank you for visiting. Thank you for commenting, liking, and subscribing to my channel. I hope to see you tomorrow with day 21.